Hey everyone, it's Mickey Made It, and I'm excited to introduce you to Inspired by Dreams, my preppy streetwear brand. See, this line is all about blending the classic and the contemporary, bringing you stylish pieces that are unique as your dreams. So whether you're hitting the streets or just chilling out with your friends, our collection offers the perfect mix of sophistication and urban edge. Join us in redefining streetwear fashion and let your style be inspired by dreams. Check out our latest collection and become part of the dream today. Okay, okay, okay. Greetings, greetings all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you wanna support my brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. And Inspired by Dreams brand, we going up. We're building with our community and we just want more people to come in that just share the same ideology. It's just good people out there. They just wanna see change in the world for the better for everybody. But okay, today's episode, I got a few reactions coming to you guys today, so stay on the lookout. This first reaction, this is crazy. I want you guys to pay attention to what's going on, especially when you're on social media and you see people with these offers of they're going to get you this certain amount of money if you put the money here, there, or you see people in your DM and they're sending you DMs and they want to know more information. These are all scammers. Now scammers, they'll do anything to get in your pockets. That's the reason why I wanna keep you guys up to date with all the latest scams. So we're gonna look into some scams right now and you guys let me know if you've been through this or if you've seen somebody or know somebody that's been through this, we're gonna take a look, all right? Let's get it. It'd be goofy or just straight down bad to fall for one of these scams right here, bro. Back in 2020, 2021, these were going crazy. People was posting them every day. Like, it would be a good kid that'll drop a post like this. I'm like, yo, what you mean tap in for BOA and Chase? But I'm going to explain exactly what they do. I don't recommend anybody doing this, but this is how they come up with these bank scams. reason why it says if you bank with Chase tap in what they're gonna do is give you a check Chase Bank must be hitting right now so what they're gonna do is they're gonna hand you a check to take to the bank you're gonna go ahead and deposit it and it should take only one day to clear after it clears they're gonna be like yo pull that money out pull that money out because you have a small window before that check bounces but for the person who went and deposited the check and you withdraw the money you will never be able to open another bank account with Chase for example ever again and you might get blacklisted from every other bank. I'm not sure if that's the case, but man, honestly, if you're doing this, like, bro, you must be really desperate for money because it is not a smart move. It's genius. Very intelligent man. And don't think that people are not getting scammed like this because let's take a look at somebody that got into this scam and she doesn't want to tell social media exactly what's going on, but she kind of explains the same thing that he was explaining to us, but on from the other side of a person that has to deal with it. So I just uh, left out of Chase Bank trying to open a bank account, and they trying to tell me they 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 try to tell me nothing. They told me I didn't go to Apple. They told me I can't open up another account. Let me tell y'all why. <laughs> so the son of the story, uh, a few years ago, my friend took my car and tried to try to pop it open. It's bad. <laughs> but guess what? When the bitch tried to pop it open, her, her boyfriend couldn't get the money. Because why would y'all try to use me? So long story short, I they you know they fucked up my car. So now Chase won't let me get another fucking account. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it's the way that the Chase people just moving. She literally was talking to me like I was a, a criminal or something. Like, <laughs> like bitch, what you <laughs> I already know what you not trying to tell me, girl. Speak it out. This is a good example of what I be trying to tell you guys. When you're dealing with scamming banks and things like that, yeah, you're gonna get the money, but don't think that you're not be able to use that bank again. It's not gonna be detrimental to your future. You have maybe your house or maybe something that you want in the future. It's so short-term thinking that it's not gonna affect you in a long time. Please, you guys, stay away from the scammers and don't get caught up with this nonsense because people are doing anything to take from people. And like I told you, you got to be careful out there with your information. There's a cyber war going on. 
So until next time, you guys, I have more reactions dropping. You guys let me know down below how you feel on this one. And it's crazy out there. Don't get scammed, all right? Love y'all. So until next time, it's your boy Mickey Made It.